Chinese medicines offer a holistic view on our body health. Our body energy, we call it qi, has to be interact with the outside energy in order to achieve a balance. A good energy balance in our body, that means good health. The China today is the major producer of all these uh, traditional medicinal herbs. We have uh, over 600 of the herbs being listed in the Chinese pharmacopoeia today. Many of them coming from the front, and many of them have been used for over 2,000 years in China. They are in general considered as safe, and not only as drug, but also could be used as food. All the things in the universe have divided into five different elements. Fire, earth, gold, water, and wood. Our body energy interacting with all these elements in order to achieve a balance. If you look at our energy within our body, we could also divide it into five different elements. For example, the fire is corresponding to the heart functions. The kidney is corresponding to water functions. These five different systems maintain a balance and have a homeostasis within our body and to provide you with a good health. The yin balance of one of the energy, and what happened, and they will cause disease. And the balance of all this energy, or the five elements, can be many ways. And one of the ways that I recommend you to do is the intake of the traditional Chinese medicines. Today, when we look at the herbal market in China or in global, we have uh, China take 10% of the market value. However, however, China produce over 95% of the raw material. The major problem is China is not able to produce high value, good control herbal product, not like Japan or Germany. What are the problems? The problem is we have a 50% of the population considered as farmer. We only have 10% of the farmland. Where the farmland go, they are misused, misorganized. And in particular in China, you, and I know that the urbanization is one of the problems. So the houses, the factory, they build legs to the farmland. The farmland, the farmer, they are not educated, they are overuse of the herbicide. The water for irrigation, they are contaminated with the heavy metal. In our body, one of the organs, the brain, have the energy imbalance very easy, particularly under what we have today with the polluted and the stress society. We expect more Alzheimer's. Parkinson, depression, schizophrenic. And I want to take one of the examples in here, the depression. If you look at the last year number, we have 5% of the people have depression. That's according to the WHO record. If you look at the Western medicines for depression, 50% of the patients do not respond to Western medicines. And indeed, traditional Chinese medicine offer one of the approach. The Chinese medicines, when you look at our brain, we do not have the cure, we do not have the disease concept, but rather than we want our brain to be protected, to be as healthy as long as we live. According to the Asian book in China, record 2,000 years ago, we already have all those herbal formula, herbal decoction to keep our brain healthy. When you look at the herbal market today, with all those scientific research that we have at the university, and indeed, we have a ginseng, dates, a daisy, and all these herbs have been known for antidepressants to help you to sleep better. And indeed, they can consume that as food or as medicines. To strengthen the herbal market, we need good product. We need high value product. And indeed, we need scientific evidence and we need all this research happening in our campus. What about for China? China only take 10% of the herbal market. So as I mentioned, they have a lot of problem. And what they need to do, number one, they need to put more investment to produce all those uh, high value herbal products in the market. We should learn it from Japan or the Germany. 
to produce those hubs for current market today. And here, I would like to pose your questions. How to China, in long run, to produce or to make better development of the herbal product in this current market? Thank you, and thank you for your attention.